Orphan Project. How'd you guys come up with the name Orphan Project? First off, hey everybody, see the name Orphan Project. Uh, I was adopted when I was a kid, uh, about four months old I was adopted, and the heart of adoption has been put into me ever since I was a little guy. Knew I was adopted when I was a little boy, and through going through church, understanding doctrines of the Christian faith, the adoption of believers into God's family is at the heart of the salvation message, I believe, that God calls us into his family, and um, we become members in his family through adoption. And down here on earth, our work is not complete, so we're with him in heaven. So we're always a work in project or in progress. So we're technically projects, and we're orphans. Uh, because we haven't been fully united with Christ in heaven. And uh, even though we're sons and daughters of him here on earth, it's still the finished, completed work is not yet done until we culminate being with him in heaven. So Orphan Project is how the name came about. Thank, Thank you for wild. sharing. Yeah, that's wild. Well, I'll tell you another thing that's wild. Sunday night, the preacher's given his lesson. Boy, he's helped out our, our show a, a lot, and he doesn't even know it. But he said, there was a verse, John 14, 18, I will not leave you as orphans. Correct. I will come to you. Correct. How odd is it that the same week that we have Orphan Project on the show, that he's going to say the exact same verse that says orphan. How many times does orphan come up in the Bible? Come on. Uh, you know, I don't think too many times. I think it's three times. I think it talks about the work of the church is towards widows and orphans. I think it's, the Bible mentions that's uh, one of the church's main mercy ministries is toward wi widows and orphans. And, and then I believe the Lord speaks, I will not leave you as orphans, I will come to you. He talks about coming for his people in a sense of those that he has chosen to be his, he's not going to leave them outside the fold. He will come for us, so we have no fear, you know, so to speak. Right. Man. But that's totally awesome, and obviously we don't believe in coincidence, so yeah. I think the Lord is just teaching us to be on notice that we're all orphans, in a sense. And this podcast is supposed to be happening this week. I think that's another thing. Awesome. That's cool. <laughs> that is great, man. Check out the rest of the interview with Shane from Orphan Project, free on iTunes or podcast.anvilinthehammer.com.